So someone asked me to do a care video on porcelainides prunosis. Um, I have the powder orange variety, but there's also the powder blue and the, uh, I believe there's powder whites now. There's all sorts of different colors. They're all the same species. But anyways, um, I keep them in two of my cultures. Um, I don't have like their own master culture. They're cultured with my um, Giablo and Ganoda, my Widehorn Hissing Roaches, and my Giant Green Banana Roaches, Pancolora Species Giant. Um, both of these cages have, um, you know, somewhat decent ventilation. This, uh, the one for the Oblong Ganoda has more. So they're like the same size, um, just different heights, and the same lid, but the one for the Banana Roaches only has three vent holes. Um, but they do fine in both. So we'll just see if we can't find some in here. And, uh, there's a ton in here, so, yeah. Um, plenty of leaves. Um, I actually have to I'm gonna add more leaves right now. Hold on, hold on. Let's see both. Um, leaves are very important for your isopods. I use a variety. Um, it's coastal oak, um, magnolia, and um, and uh, valley oak. But um, use as much of a variety as you can get. Um, give them cuddle bone. Um, for the substrate, I keep it slightly damp, not super damp. Um, you can keep them drier. Um, I wouldn't let, recommend drying it out as much as like the Spanish or armadillidium. They still do like some humidity. Um, but yeah, this is how I keep them. Um, as far as their food goes, they get what the roaches get. Um, here we have some cat food, um, I will also give them, uh, squash, right now they're getting lots of pumpkin, because it's that time of the year, there's plenty of pumpkins in season, and they seem to love it, I'll show you the ones that are kept with banana roaches, actually, you know what, we're gonna close the banana roaches, because they fly everywhere, and it's annoying. And I don't want to deal with it, to be honest. So, we're going to close this. But, um, here you can see how much ventilation they have. There's three holes just on one side. They seem to do fine like that. Um, because the banana roach is like it really moist. But, uh, yeah. Really difficult to do wrong with P. prunosis. Um, most people kill them by, like, either keeping them too dry or having it super wet with no ventilation. Um, they need at least some ventilation. But, uh, yeah, they subsist in here, and they live with the roaches, and they don't outcompete them or get outcompeted. They do really well. Just, uh, make sure that you're offering plenty of, plenty of protein, calcium, and, uh, like I said, I totally vouched for squash and uh, pumpkin and things of that nature. Um, they seem to really go for that kind of stuff. But yeah, they're excellent feeders, probably like the fastest breeding isopod that I have. Um, I got 75 originally and I've sold thousands. Um, and I've had this culture, or the original group of 75 powder oranges for less than a year. So that will kind of give you an idea. They're not as small as dwarf whites, and they're not as big as, like, armadillidium. They're kind of a medium-sized isopod, full-grown. But their nymphs make really good food for stuff like uh, dart frogs and small geckos and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I hope this kind of gives people an idea of how they are cared for. They're really pretty isopods. I like them a lot. Yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. I have like 26 different types of isopods. If anybody has a request on how to care for them, I will, uh, I will do a video. So yeah, bye-bye.